Welcome back. We have a long list of animal videos, please find some time for them too. Thanks in advance. Let's start. The green heron is a small heron of North and Central America. Birds of the nominate subspecies are extremely rare vagrants to Western Europe, for example, a sighting in Pembrokeshire in 2018 was only the second recorded sighting in Wales. Individuals from the Pacific coast of North America may similarly stray as far as Hawaii. The green heron is relatively small. The neck is often pulled in tight against the body. Adults have a glossy, greenish-black cap, a greenish back and wings that are gray-black grading into green or blue, a chestnut neck with a white line down the front, gray underparts and short yellow legs. The bill is dark with a long, sharp point. Female adults tend to be smaller than males, and have duller and lighter plumage, particularly in the breeding season. Juveniles are duller, with the head sides, neck and underparts streaked brown and white, tan splotched back and wing covers, and greenish yellow legs and bill. Hatchlings are covered in down feathers, light gray above, and white on the belly. The green heron's call is loud. Now, let's listen to its call. Beautiful, isn't it? The habitat of the green heron is small wetlands in low-lying areas. The species is most conspicuous during dusk and dawn, and if anything these birds are nocturnal rather than diurnal, preferring to retreat to sheltered areas in daytime. They feed actively during the day, however, if hungry or provisioning young. Shore-living individuals adapt to the rhythm of the tides. They mainly eat small fish, frogs and aquatic arthropods, but may take any invertebrate or vertebrate prey they can catch, including such animals like leeches and mice. Green herons are intolerant of other birds, including conspecifics, when feeding and are not seen to forage in groups. They typically stand still on shore or in shallow water or perch upon branches and await prey. Sometimes they drop food, insects, or other small objects on the water's surface to attract fish, making them one of the few known tool-using species. This feeding method has led some to title the green and closely related striated heron as among the world's most intelligent birds. They are able to hover briefly to catch prey. The clutch is usually two to six pale green eggs, which are laid in two day intervals. After the last egg has been laid, both parents incubate for about 19 to 21 days until hatching, and feed the young birds. The frequency of feedings decreases as the offspring near fledging. The young sometimes start to leave the nest at 16 days of age, but are not fully fledged, and able to fend for themselves until 30 to 35 days old. Sometimes, particularly in the tropical parts of its range, the green heron breeds twice a year. Thank you for your time. Take care.